<laughs> Hi everyone. This is Pepper. Thank you. This is Pepper and she is a schnoodle puppy. She is 13 weeks old and she is coming for her very first groom. So because she's a little older, I'm expecting it to be a little bit difficult, but so far she's been just an angel and a really good temperament. Um, just sits and waits and is relaxed and very social and playful. So we shall see how it goes, but I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit of a struggle at the beginning because of course she doesn't know what is going on. So I'm going to be giving her a number five cut, of course, with no restraints and also without any editing to the film. So hopefully you enjoy that. And if you'd like to see all the tools that I use, you can check that out in the description of this video where I have all those links in there as well. So, and please feel free to ask any questions as well. So I'm just going to get started. We're going to see how she does. <laughs> I've already warned her owner that sometimes these videos don't look that pleasant because um, she's going to be a little squirmy. So when I do hold her, I'm going to be using these two fingers and holding at the back of the jawline. Actually here, I'm going to be holding right behind the ears. So on the bone structure there. And then if she doesn't listen, I'm going to be putting my hand just at the back of her head as well. So hopefully this first part is the hardest because we just got to get her to kind of wear down a little bit. It's okay. Hey, Pepper, Pepper, Pepper. So that she knows she's not going to get hurt. But of course, it's still scary. Hey, hey. Pepper. Pepper. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Good girl. Uh -uh -uh. Pepper. Pepper. And she lays down. Okay, so I'm going to move the camera back because I think she's going to move around a little bit on us. I want you to be able to see what's going on. Oh. That nice little curl under here. That really looks cute. Good girl. Not well, so far, so good. I know. Hey. I know, Pepper. Gonna speak too soon. Hey. No. Oh. Hey, no, Piper. No, no. Good girl. All learning experiences for her too. So there, we got that leg done. No biting. Hey. 
You just kind of hold on and just kind of wait till they give you a break and then you continue on eventually they will learn that even if they move around you're not going to stop hey pepper hello Just gonna switch the blade out. Yeah, what's that one? Okay. okay, so I'm gonna do under her chin, which is another typical part, and then under her ear here. Oh, she got lots of hair in those ears. And right now, I'm just holding it at the back of her head, her skull. So when she moves, I have some resistance. Puppies, you just keep trying different things. Yeah, they're a little smarter, eh? That's what happens when they're a little bit older. Figure things out a little faster. Okay, no. Alright, so I'm gonna have to bring her down. Oh, yeah, I'm not giving up. So I can get better leverage on her. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe she can get better leverage on me. Yeah. 
And I may have to use the scissors on there if I have to. Okay. We're both going to be a bit tired after this one. Side of the jawline. Okay. 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 No. It's basically let them kind of try to figure it out that I'm not going to let go. No, you have to stay. Good girl. Okay. I do a little bit of a pout. And they look at you with the saddest eyes. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna keep going. Since she kinda let me do the other one. She's kind of realizing I'm not going to stop here. Okay. No, no, no. Pepper, pepper. There. Good girl. Okay, we're going to leave that. Girl, come back with the scissors. I don't want to use the clippers too close in there because she's moves around a bit and I don't want it to be too near the ears so I'm gonna come back to you good girl good girl okay just gonna switch the clipper blade out again just because I have to leave it running while she's uh doing her jumping around so you can get a little bit of you can't really see it on there but nice little scratch from the war of dog grooming There, look at that, how she stays. Oh, every time I say that, then she gets up. Look, like she's mocking me. Just like, oh no, you didn't. There, yeah, good girl. Hey, hey, hey. No. <laughs> no, get your mouth out of there. There we go. And I'll go back and use the scissors like I did the other side. Okay. Look at that. Just gonna add a little bit of oil to the clipper blade. Okay, there we go. Another way from the wall there. There you best to give you good angles for the viewing. Sometimes I get a little distracted and forget, so I'm sorry if you're missing anything. But I try to check the camera often. I need to adjust as needed if I can.
<laughs> hey, no. And although she's not really biting, she's kind of just testing the water, so I don't want to re um, reassure her that that's okay or reinforce it by stopping my behavior. Hey, no. Hey, no. No. Pepper, no. Because then she'll just know that if she bites, I will stop grooming. No. No biting. No. Pepper. <laughs> no biting. No. And sometimes you just have to hold on. Uh, she's not really resisting. Until they realize that you're not going to stop. Okay. Enough. No biting. Okay. You don't even have to hold on tight. No biting. No. So now she's starting to bite a little harder. No. So I have to kind of let her know that I'm the boss. And see now she just kind of gives up and lays down. No biting. And I'll let her I'll release because she did lay down. So if she does try to bite again, then I'll just kind of go back to the same move. So that it reinforces that if she tries to bite. Hey, no. And if she doesn't stop, that's what will happen. No. So she does release, but... It's all just early training, which is normal for puppies. Hey! No! I know you're cute, but not allowed. Like, but I'm so cute. Okay, right, switch into number seven. I'll leave the armpit because those are tight angles. So I'll come back with it. You and your nippiness. Hey, yeah, she's not using her teeth. She's just using her mouth now. Hey, no, still not allowed. Hey, quit it. Figuring it out, eh? I know you don't like this noise. But I'm trying to get in. No. Hey. I don't want to go too tight in there. Like I said, I'll come back with the scissors. Okay, let's get that bum area. You're okay. Okay, nice and clean. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to use a number 10 around the area where she pees to get that a little cleaner. <laughs> hey! You know what you're doing. <laughs> Trying some different moves. Hey. <laughs> yes, that's a squirmy girl. Can't see a puppy, yay. 
her mouth on me but just kind of nibbles but not really bite me just a test okay Let's get these feet done uh -huh. Hey, no. She bit her own foot. <laughs> ah, you're so cute. Just want to make sure the nail has good contact with the stick dip powder. There we go. Okay, move on to the next one. With the puppy's nails, that quick, if they haven't been cut before that quick which is the part that bleeds also grows pretty long so even though i didn't trim very much off it still caught it and you can see she didn't even react to the me trimming it 
just being her normal squirmy self. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna win there, little lady. No. Mm -hmm. So like I said, the key to a puppy or any dog really is just you have to wait them out so that they know that Whatever behavior they're doing will not work. Because if you just stop every time they do this, it just reinforces them to do this more. So you can see she stopped biting because it didn't work. So now she's trying this. <laughs> You're pretty flexible. But eventually she will stop this as well. And if she doesn't, she'll be one tired puppy. But... Uh, so give me breaks because she's like trying to figure out what else to do. Yep. Pepper. Pepper. Let's go outside. Treat. Walk. Make sure you know some of those words. Hey! Now she's chewing on my ring. <laughs> okay, well, I can allow that. No! Nope. Now she's chewing my thumb, so if she didn't stop, then I would have to hold her mouse. <laughs> no. Worked before, hey. Just track you with my feet. All right, we got it. Let's stop it. Hey. Nope. Uh -uh. That's my ring. Thank you. Okay. Two more feet to go. We're cruising right along. And by this time, usually I'm already getting the dog ready to go in the tub. So you can you see it's taken me a little bit longer to work with her. <laughs> so if you're working with your puppy and you're tired, just stop when you're ready. So like now would be a good break because she's not really doing anything, but not when she's nipping at you or pulling. So you don't want to give them a break when they're doing a behavior you don't like. So like at this point, if you wanted a break, <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> You're so cute. So if you lay right down, kind of sprawled out there. Are you tired? Just like, nope, that didn't work either. She still keep going. I like that one. Try that move again. <laughs> 
is sprawled right out. No, that's my thumb. Again, she's not really biting. So it's a different than the other one that I had to hold her mouth for. So there are different types. So just kind of get a feel for what their intention is and that um, dictates how I react. Hey, hey, no. Yeah, you know you're in trouble. You don't do that. Alright, we're gonna get that dew claw in there. Yeah. that noise. Do you like that noise? Is that destruction? I know that's your noise. Your displacement. Oh, sorry if you're looking at the top of my head. Okay, this is the new one. Cover them up so she can't look. I can't see what's going on. Hey, hey. Hey, no. Okay, okay, now she's licking her own feet. Oh, did you get some fur? As you can see, a little more resist, less resistance. She's kind of just, whatever, I'll just do my own thing. Just finish up. Yeah, so the last foot was easy peasy. Okay, now for another fun part, the face. So this one can always be a bit difficult on any dog, but especially a puppy for the first time with these big scissors. These are the only scissors I've ever used, even when I first started. years ago so of course these aren't the exact scissors but they're the same brand and length and style that I used so it's pretty darn close so I always used scissors like this when I groomed even from the very beginning Just go a little bit at a time and because I'm using my hands and not restraints, when the dog moves, I'm aware right away that she's going to move or is going to move and kind of which way she's going to move. So I can feel that depending on how she lifts or moves or twists. Okay. 
Good girl. And right now I'm just using those two fingers and holding at the back of the head there. So her chin is just resting on my palm, but I'm not putting any pressure on her throat. And yeah, of course you can see she still has range of movement. But it just lets her know, hey, no, that I'm going to keep her in this position to do what I need to do. And she has some tearing there. So there you go. That was a big clump. Good girl. I know. <laughs> and she's just trying some different moves. See if I'll let go. No. So I just kind of hold on. Good girl. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey. No, no. Hey. It's okay. You're okay. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I know. It's okay. She's got quite a bit of hair around her ears. So when I trim the hair, it probably tickles in there. So that'll be fun plucking. inside of there. I know. We are working. We're getting there. I know. Mm -mm. No, no. Pepper, Pepper, good girl. Touch ups a little bit, but Oof. okay, so I just have to show you her ears. How full they are. This is quite common with the puppy. You can see it's really sensitive. And long. So once I get plucking that out, I'm just going to grab the tweezers here. And hopefully she is going to stay just so easy for me here. I'm sure she's just tired right out. <laughs> doesn't appear to be, does it? But hopefully it'll come out real easy. Usually the first year, they resist a little bit more. 
And then the second one, once they know what I'm doing and that it feels so much better, I'm just going to save that so we can see how much is in this one ear. And it is quite waxy as well. So that's why her ears are a little sensitive. Hey, hey. Pepper, 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 Pepper. Me, 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 me. Good girl. Oh, I know. Oh, there's lots of wax in there. Hey, I know, I know. No. I know. No, no, no. Let's want to get it all out. Ah. I know. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Eh, eh. all in her ear and good riddance okay so hopefully this year if I'm correct will be a little easier to do because she's gonna know what I'm doing and likes the end result but there still is moths in there so it's gonna be quite sore Hey, hey. Uh -huh, uh -huh. hey, oh, hey, hey. Okay, I think I'm gonna move her a little bit down. I have to do a little extra TLC here. Oh, uh oh. So, what I'm doing is holding on the back of her head with my thumb. goes underneath her chin. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Good girl. Okay. And Oopsie. Oh, I lost it. Hold on. This was in this year. All right, so I'm going to get her in the tub now. <laughs> Come here. I think she's already up here. Um, actually, I'm going to comb out her tail first. I feel better? Yeah. I bet it does. Okay, let's get this girl in the tub.
can of the tub as we can see. Okay. A lot of puppies aren't. But she'll get used to it once she gets more and more washes. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Pepper, pepper. <gasps> Not so bad, but not too much. I like in that water, eh? You're not gonna be a good swimmer, are you? Only when you have to. Okay, so this is where it gets a little tricky. So I'm going to start with the blow dryer and I will take it off her head near the end just so I can get her head as well dry. over with the number five please and then we'll do just about that Okay. 
Just gonna use the scissors to clean up her legs a little bit. They're still a bit poofy compared to the rest of her. I don't know. Maybe she'll tell us a story. No, no, no. Here we go. This is why the first puppy cut. You may not be able to get everything. Uh oh. Depending on how much they move around. But you can always come back a little bit here and there when you see something out of place. Just about done here. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed the video. She was a little bit squirmy, but not unusual for a puppy of her age. She'll be quite tired tonight. And lots of snuggles. There we go. So hopefully you enjoyed this video of Pepper. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and look forward to seeing you all again soon. Okay, she's almost done.